haunted lands inspired by Norse. Yo, that's what I was just talking about. Hold on, bro. What's up, squad? We're back. Ubisoft just had their UB40 event. And the first trailer I want to check out is Assassin's Creed, just because I want to see some gameplay. Now, my favorite Assassin's Creed that I've ever played, I haven't played all of them, but my favorite was Black Flag. So I'm getting some serious Black Flag vibes from this. I just want to check it out. I think the only unfortunate thing about Assassin's Creed is everybody keeps saying that it might be locked at 30 frames per second on console. So come on, man. That sucks. We got the PS5 and Xbox Series X coming out. In Assassin's Creed Can't be locked at 30 frames, bro. We'll relive the epic saga of the Viking invasion of England. Okay. You play as Eivor, a Viking from Norway, who will lead his or her battle-hardened Eivor. across the North Sea. It's a unisex name? British Isles. Eivor is driven by an ambitious goal, to build a thriving Norse settlement in a hostile land. Good of our plan. It is time we go our Raid? Is that where we at? Or are you about to raid? We may build. We can't was that the location? England is a dark age tangle of broken kingdoms and warring dynasties. Oh no, like you're about to raid. Opportunity and riches. Raid a village? As you prowl England's rivers by longship, you may raid locations. Okay, you yeah, you can raid locations. Battle. Okay. Ground your ship and blow your hey, that's cool. to lead your raiding crew into battle. The roller on your crew? Are you just oh man, this whole place is probably about to be engulfed in flames. So I wonder, do you have to do that to complete it, or is that an option? Like if you want to just completely burn this place down. Oh, you your get to revive your friends. All your raids. Oh, well, that would have been cool if it was like co-op, then you got a whole revive system. It'd be nice if Battery you could like actually doors. add your friends in. And stealing cargo too heavy for one set of arms. Of course. <laughs> you gotta loot. Let's be let's be clear. I mean, be used to develop your settlement, giving you access to. We not raiding for no reason. Better tools and new settlers. At the heart of your settlement is the alliance map. Alliance it map. It will serve as a record of the allies you have made and a guide for future opportunities. That's cool. I like that. The Viking Age was a time of warriors Different enemies. and legends. In Valhalla, why did some of those enemies look like Vikings? Variety of enemies ever assembled in an Assassin's Creed game. Hmm. Okay. I like the Every combat. The archetype offers a unique challenge. Some will coordinate with their allies for special attacks, while others will use nearby objects to their advantage, including the bodies of fallen. <laughs> <laughs> to face these attacks, we are throwing you people. Find and exploit your opponent's weaknesses to gain the upper hand. Yeah, that's like how fighting works fight in almost every game. Focus. With a host of brutal new combat abilities. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Harpoon. Pummel them with throwing axes. Yo, hold on. You can't just show me my man throwing axes Pummel like this. That's nice. I'm with that. Incapacitate them with the new stun system to keep them at a distance. Using axes all the way. Or finish them off. Dual wield any two weapons you wish to unleash a deadly combination of attacks. Any two weapons? So you telling me I can run out here with two shields, bro? Customize your Any two weapons. You see I'm running two shields. You got to. Warrior. Can I throw my shield like Captain America style? Bruh, I'm running two shields. Show me two shield gameplay. All combinations of weapons are available to dual wield, including two shields. Let's go. Throw, throw it. Throw it. Throw it. He didn't, he didn't throw it. Okay, I don't know. If we can throw it, it's a W. Not all if you can't throw it, obviously fighters. not running two shields at all land, times, but I still got to try. Find a way to adapt. As Eivor is not welcome in England, you may need to outsmart your enemies, avoiding unwanted attention in town. I mean, is throwing a hood on really outsmarting my enemies? Use Eivor's hood and cloak to blend with crowds and slip past watchful eyes. An unseen hunter among the people. I mean, to be fair, a dude who's wearing a hood all the time is really should be suspicious. You know what I'm saying? Like, who is this guy? From capital cities and villages to the dense forests and rolling hills of England. Exploration is vital to keeping yourself sharp. You must feed off the land if you hope to endure. Hunt and forage to replenish your health and fortify. Mm, why is this wolf so big? Dang! 
Search pagan temples and Roman ruins for new activities and challenges. You got legendary Respect beasts your out here, fam? And your settlement. <laughs> you got a loot. The more you Give me the loot. The more of England's secrets you will reveal. Hey man, is like Odin and Thor like a big part of the game? Probably not. I mean, you know, Vikings look up to like, you know, they worship like but Thor and stuff. That would be cool. England, the enemy will push back. In a series of climactic moments, Assassin's this this look epic right here. Massive assaults in which you lead Eivor's army into battle against heavily guarded. Bro, some of these moments look like it was so set up for just like co-op, but I know it's not. Assassin's Creed Valhalla will transport you to wondrous and haunted lands inspired by Norse. Yo, that's what I was just talking about. Hold on, bro. It will challenge. And that's what I want to see right there. And England. I hope it's a lot of that. By Norse myths. And yeah, aliens. Thor, Odin, show it me some crazy. And surprise. Thank you, man. With unforgettable characters, thrilling triumphs, and tragic losses. Of course, people gotta die. To live your own Viking saga. I'm in, man. I'm, I'm, I'm in. I ain't pre-ordering in, but I'm in. No, oh, no, I probably pre-order. Assassin's Creed Valhalla available November 17th. Coming soon to next-gen consoles. Yeah, we need those. We need those release dates. So I know how to purchase my stuff accordingly. Yeah, man, Assassin's Creed definitely has my attention. The dual wielding, that's honestly all I need to see. The dual wielding, they got me. Dual wielding shields, you can't tell me that don't sound cool. And if you can throw the shield, to me, it's an automatic W. That's all I need, and I'm going crazy with it. Throwing shields, double shooting up. Like, listen, my defense is going to be impenetrable. It's going to be crazy. Rolling around, come up, throw the shield. And I, I mean, I know it's probably not going to come back, but if, if it did, that'd be crazy. And I like that one little clip they showed of like the supernatural stuff. Like, if, if we can see Thor and Odin in this game, mm, icing on the cake. But anyway, let me know what you guys thought of Assassin's Creed. Like, are you guys tired of Assassin's Creed? You down with the new Vikings, Valhalla? Y'all ready for it? And uh, what was your favorite Assassin's Creed? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.